हीट ट्रांसफर क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी इन एम के एस यूनिट इज ऑप्शन ए किलो कैलोरी पर के जी इंटू मीटर स्क्वायर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ऑप्शन बी किलो कैलोरी इंटू मीटर पर आवर मीटर इंटू मीटर स्क्वायर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ऑप्शन सी किलो कैलोरी पर आवर इंटू मीटर स्क्वायर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ऑप्शन डी किलो कैलोरी इंटू मीटर पर आवर इन एंड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ऑप्शन ई इज किलो कैलोरी इन इंटू मीटर पर मीटर स्क्वायर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी इट विल बी किलो कैलोरी इंटू मीटर पर आवर इंटू मीटर स्क्वायर एंड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू यूनिट ऑफ थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी इन एस आई यूनिट्स इज ऑप्शन ए जूल पर मीटर स्क्वायर सेकेंड ऑप्शन बी जूल पर मीटर डिग्री कैलविन सेकेंड ऑप्शन सी वाट पर मीटर डिग्री कैलविन ऑप्शन डी ए एंड सी अबाउ एंड ऑप्शन ई बी एंड सी अबाउ सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ई इट मीन्स बी this one and c this one both are above question number 3 thermal conductivity of solid metals with rise in temperature normally option a increases option b decreases option c remains constant option d may increase or decrease depending on temperature option e unpredictable correct answer is b it will be decreases question number 4 thermal conductivity of non metallic amorphous solids with decreases in temperature amorphous solids like a glass okay option a is increases option b is decreases option c is remains constant and option d is may increase or decrease depending on temperature and option e is unpredictable so correct answer is b it will be decreases it means thermal conductivity of non metallic amorphous um, solids like glass with decrease in temperature then conductivity will be decreases thermal conductivity of non metallic decrease in temperature will be decrease okay question number 5 heat transfer take place as per option a zeroth law of thermodynamics option b first law of thermodynamics option c second law of thermodynamics option d kirchhoff's law option e is a stefan's law so the correct answer is c it will be second law of thermodynamics question number 6 when heat is transferred from one particle sorry one uh, yes one particle of hot body to another by actual motion of the heat by the heated particles it is referred to as heat transferred by option a conduction option b convection and option c is a radiation and option d is conduction and radiation uh, convection and option e is convection and radiation correct answer is a it means when a heat is transferred from one particle of the hot body to another by actual motion of the heated particles it is preferred as the heat transfer by the conduction question number 7 when heat is transferred from hot body to cold body in a straight line without affecting the intervening medium it is referred to as a heat transfer by option a conduction option b is a convection option c is a radiation option d is a conduction and con 
वैक्शन एंड ऑप्शन ए कन्वेक्शन एंड रेडिएशन सो दी करेक्ट आंसर इज सी इट विल बी रेडिएशन ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सेंसिबल हीट इज द हीट रिक्वायर्ड टू ऑप्शन ए चेंज वेपर इन टू लिक्विड ऑप्शन बी चेंज लिक्विड इन टू वेपर ऑप्शन सी इंक्रीजेज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ लिक्विड और वेपर ऑप्शन डी कन्वर्ट वाटर इन टू स्ट्रीम एंड सुपर हीट इट ऑप्शन ई कन्वर्ट सेचुरेटेड स्ट्रीम इन टू ड्राई स्ट्रीम सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी इट विल बी इंक्रीजेज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ लिक्विड और वेपर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन द इंसुलेशन द इंसुलेशन एबिलिटी ऑफ एन इंसुलेटर विथ द प्रजेंस ऑफ मॉइस्चर वुड बी ऑप्शन ए इंक्रीज इज ऑप्शन बी इज डिक्रीज इज ऑप्शन सी इज रिमेन अनअफेक्टेड ऑप्शन डी मे इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज डिपेंडिंग ऑन टेम्परेचर एंड थिकनेस ऑफ इंसुलेशन एंड ऑप्शन ई इज नन ऑफ द अबाउ करेक्ट आंसर इज बी इट विल बी डिक्रीज इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन वेन हीट इज ट्रांसफर्ड बाई मोलिकुलर कोलाइजन कोलिजन इट इज रेफर्ड टू एज ए हीट ट्रांसफर्ड बाई ऑप्शन ए इज अ कंडक्शन ऑप्शन बी इज अ कन्वेक्शन ऑप्शन सी इज रेडिएशन ऑप्शन डी इज अ स्केटरिंग एंड ऑप्शन ई इज अ कन्वेक्शन एंड रेडिएशन करेक्ट आंसर इज बी इट विल बी कन्वेक्शन इट मीन्स वेन हीट इज ट्रांसफर बाई मोलिकुलर कोलाइजन इट इज रेफर टू एज अ हीट ट्रांसफर बाई द कन्वेक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन हीट ट्रांसफर इन लिक्विड and gases take a place by option a conduction option b convection option c radiation option d conduction and convection and option e is a convection and radiation so the correct answer is b it will be convection question number 12 which of the following is the case of heat transfer by radiation option a blast furnace option b heating of building and option c cooling of part in furnace and option d heat received by a person from fireplace and option e is all of the above so the correct answer is d it will be heat received by a person from fireplace it means which of the following case of the heat transfer by the radiation it received by a person from the fireplace question number 13 heat is a closely related with option a liquids option b energy option c is temperature option d is entropy option e is enthalpy correct answer c it will be belong to the temperature it is closely related to the temperature question number 14 pick up the wrong case heat following from one side to other depends directly on option a face area option b time option c is thickness option d is temperature difference option e is thermal conductivity so the correct answer is c it's because of thickness that is the wrong case pick up the wrong case so thickness is the wrong case heat flowing from one side to another depends directly these all factors face area time temperature difference and thermal conductivity but not thickness question number 15 metals are good conductors of heat because option a their atoms collide frequently option b their atoms are relatively far apart option c they contain free electrons option d 
they have a high density and option E is all of the above so correct answer is A metals have good conductors of the heat because their atoms collides frequently question number 16 which of the following is a case of steady state heat transfer option A IC engine option B is air preheaters and option C is a heating of building in a winter and option D is all of the above and option E is none of the above correct answer is a E none of the above which of the following case of the steady he steady state heat transfer so none of the above question number 17 total heat is the heat required to option a change vapor into liquid option b change liquid into vapor option c increase the temperature of the liquid or vapor and option d is a convert water into steam and superheat it option e is a convert saturated steam into a dry stream so the correct answer is a d the total heat the the total heat the heat the total he heat is the heat required to convert water into steam and superheat it question number 18 cork cork is a good insulator because it has option a free electrons option b atoms uh, colliding frequency uh, frequency atoms colliding frequently okay option c is a low density option d is a porous body and option e is a all of the above so correct answer is a d it's a cork is a porous body is it? okay question number 19 thermal conductivity of water in general with rise in temperature option a increases option b is decreases and option c is remains constant and option d may increase or decrease depend on temperature and option is none of the above correct answer is a d thermal conductivity of the water in general with rise in the temperature may increase decrease depend on the temperature okay question number 20 Thermal conductivity of water at 20 degree centigrade is the of the order of option A 0.1, option B 0.23, option C 0.42, option D 0.51, option E is a 0.64. Correct answer is a D. It will be 0.51. Question number 21. Temperature of steam at around 540 degrees centigrade can be measured by option a thermometer option b is a radiation pyrometer option c is a thermistor option d is a thermocouple option e is a thermopile so the correct answer is d it will be measured by thermocouple question number 22 thermal conductivity of air at room temperature in kilocalorie per meter hour degree centigrade is of the order of option a 0.002 option b 0.02 option c 0.01 option d 0.1 option e is a 0.5 correct answer is a b it will be 0.02 question number 23 the time constant of a thermocouple is time constant of thermocouple is option a the time taken to attain the final temperature to be measured option b the time taken to attain 50 percent of the value of the initial temperature difference option c the time taken to attain 63.2 percent of the value of the initial temperature difference option d is the temperature sorry um, option d is a determining by the time taken to reach the 100 degree centigrade from 0 degree centigrade and option e is none of the above correct answer is a c the con the time constant of the uh, thermocouple is the time taken to attend 63.2 percent of the value of the initial temperature difference 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ एयर विच राइज इन टेम्परेचर ऑप्शन ए इंक्रीजेज ऑप्शन बी इज डिक्रीजेज ऑप्शन सी इज रिमेंस कॉन्स्टेंट एंड ऑप्शन डी में इंक्रीज एंड डिक्रीज डिपेंड ऑन द टेम्परेचर एंड ऑप्शन ई इज नन ऑफ द अबाउ करेक्ट आंसर इज ए इट विल बी इंक्रीज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी हीट फ्लोज फ्रॉम वन बॉडी टू अदर वेन दे हैव ऑप्शन ए इज अ डिफरेंट हीट कंटेंट्स ऑप्शन बी डिफरेंट स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑप्शन सी डिफरेंट एटोमिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड ऑप्शन डी इज द डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर्स एंड ऑप्शन ई इज नन ऑफ द अब करेक्ट आंसर इज डी इट्स अ डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर ओके इट्स इट मीन्स हीट फ्लो फ्रॉम वन बॉडी टू अदर वैन दे हैव डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ओवरऑल कोफिशेंट ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर इज यूज इन हीट ट्रांसफर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ ऑप्शन ए कंडक्शन ऑप्शन बी कन्वेक्शन एंड ऑप्शन सी इज रेडिएशन ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ ऑल द थ्री कंबाइंड एंड ऑप्शन ए इज अ कंडक्शन एंड कन्वेक्शन करेक्ट आंसर इज ई इट विल बी कंडक्शन एंड कन्वेक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन इन हीट ट्रांसफर कंडक्टेंस इक्वल्स कंडक्टिविटी किलो कैलोरी पर आवर पर स्क्वायर मीटर पर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड पर सेंटीमीटर डिवाइज सॉरी डिवाइज बाई ऑप्शन ए इन आवर टाइम ऑप्शन बी एस क्यू एम मीन्स स्क्वायर मीटर एरिया एंड ऑप्शन सी इज अ डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड मीन्स टेम्परेचर एंड ऑप्शन डी इज अ दिस इज द सी एम मीन्स सेंटीमीटर इन दिकनेस एंड ऑप्शन इज अ किलो कैलोरी मीन्स हेड सॉरी हीट सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज डी इट विल बी सेंटीमीटर थिकनेस क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट फ्लो थ्रू अ बॉडी बाय कंडक्शन इज ऑप्शन ए डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द सरफेस एरिया ऑफ द बॉडी ऑप्शन बी डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस ऑन द टू फेसेस ऑफ द बॉडी ऑप्शन सी डिपेंड अपॉन the material of the body and option d is inversely proportional to the thickness of the body and option e is all of the above correct answer is a e it's all of the above the amount of heat flow through a body by conduction is depend all of the above question number 29 which of the following has least value of conductivity option a glass option b water option c is plastic option c d is a rubber and option e is air correct answer is e it will be air question number 30 which of the following is expected to have highest thermal conductivity option a steam option b solid ice option c is a melting ice option d is water option e is a boiling water correct answer is b it will be solid ice question number 31 thermal conductivity of glass wool varies from sample to sample because of variation in option a is a composition option b is a density option c is a porosity and option d is a structure and option e is all of the above correct answer is e all of the above it means thermal conductivity of glass wool varies from sample 
to sample because of variation in composition density porosity and structural of the above question number 32 thermal conductivity of a material may be defined as the option a quantity of heat flowing in one second through one centimeter cube of material when opposite face are opposite faces are maintained at the temperature difference of one degree centigrade option b quantity of heat following in one second through a slab of the material of area one centimeter square thickness one centimeter when it's a face different temperature by one degree centigrade option c is a heat heat is a conducted in unit time across unit area through unit thickness when a temperature difference of unity is uh, maintained between opposite face and option d is all of the above option e is none of the above correct answer is d it means all of the above question number 33 which of the following has maximum value of thermal conductivity option a aluminium option b steel option c is brass option d is copper option e is lead so correct answer is a it will be aluminium question number 34 moisture would find its way into insulation by vapor pressure unless it is prevented by option a high thickness of insulation option b high vapor pressure option c less thermal conductivity insulator option d a vapor seal and option e is all of the above correct answer is d a vapor seal question number 35 heat is a transferred by all three modes of transfer with conduction convection and radiation in option a is a electric heater option b steam condenser option c melting of ice option d refrigerator condenser coils and option e is a boiler correct answer is a e it's a boiler it means heat is transferred by all three modes of the transfer in the device is a boiler question number 36 according to prevost theory of heat exchange option a it is impossible to transfer heat from low temperature source to high temperature source option b heat transfer by radiation requires no medium option c all bodies above absolute zero emit radiation option d heat transfer in most of case takes place by combination of conduction convection and radiation option e rate of heat transfer depends on thermal conductivity and temperature difference so the correct answer is c it will be all bodies above absolute zero emit radiation that is the prevost theory of heat exchange question number 37 the ratio of heat flow q1 divided by q2 from two walls of same thickness having their thermal conductivities as k1 is equal to 2k2 will be option a 1 option b 0.5 option c is a 2 option d is a 0.25 option e is 4 so correct answer is a c it will be 2 question number 38 heat transfer by radiation mainly depends upon option a 
its temperature option b is nature of the body option c is a current and extent of its surface and option d is a all of the above and option e is none of the above correct answer is a d so all of the above question number 39 thermal diffusivity is option a a dimension less parameter option b function of temperature option c used as a mathematical mode option d a physical sorry used as a mathematical model option d a physical property of the material option e useful in a case of heat transfer by radiation correct answer is d a physical property of the material question number 40 thermal diffusivity of a substance is option a proportional of thermal conductivity k option b inversely proportional to k option c proportional to k square option d inversely proportional to k square option e is none of the above so correct answer is a it's a proportional to thermal conductivity k question number 41 unit of thermal diffusivity is option a meter square per hour option b meter square per hour degree centigrade option c is kilo calorie per meter square into hour and option d is kilo calorie per meter per meter into hour degree centigrade and option e is kilo calorie per meter square hour degree centigrade correct answer is a it will be meter square per hour question number 42 <coughs> an electric furnace an electric furnace has a laminated wall composed of 0.2 meter of refractory bricks and k is equal to 2 and 0.15 meter of insulation and uh, its k is a 0.15 and 1.5 1.5 meter of brick having k is equal to 1.5 inner and outer temperature of <coughs> wall are 1027 degree centigrade and 20 only 27 degree centigrade respectively unit of k r kilo calorie into meter per hour meter square degree centigrade if surface area of the wall is 1.2 meter square heat transfer rate will be option a 10 kilo calorie per hour option b 100 kilo calorie per hour option c 1000 kilo calorie per hour 10 option d is a 10000 kilo calorie per hour and option e is a none of the above So correct answer is a C it will be 1000 kilo calorie per hour Question number 43 Thermal conductivity of wood depends on option A moisture option B is density option C is temperature option D is all of the above and option E is none of the above Correct answer is D it's all of the above moisture density and temperature Question number 44 in convection heat transfer from hot fuel from hot fuel gases to water tube even even though flow may be turbulent a laminar flow region boundary layer of film exists close to the tube the heat transfer through this film take place by option a is convection option b is radiation option c is conduction option d is both convection and conduction and option e is none of the above correct answer is c heat transfer through this film take place by the conduction question number 45 film coefficient is defined as option a inside diameter of tube divided by equivalent thickness of film option b 
थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी डिवाइडेड बाय इक्विवेलेंट थिकनेस ऑफ फिल्म ऑप्शन सी स्पेसिफिक हीट इनटू विस्कोसिटी डिवाइडेड बाय थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी और मोलिकुलर डेंसिटी ऑफ मोमेंटम डिवाइडेड बाय थर्मल डिफ्यूजिविटी एंड ऑप्शन डी इज अ फिल्म कोफिशेंट इनटू इनसाइड डायमीटर डिवाइडेड बाय थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी एंड ऑप्शन ई इज नन ऑफ द अबव so correct answer is b it's because of the film coefficient is defined as thermal conductivity divided by equivalent thickness of film question number 46 heat conducted through unit area and unit thick phase per unit time when temperature difference between opposite faces is a unity is called option a thermal resistance option b thermal coefficient option c temperature gradient option d thermal conductivity option e heat transfer correct answer is a d it's because thermal conductivity question number 47 in the heat flow equation q is equal to ka in the small bracket t1 minus t2 divided by x the term x upon ka is known as option a thermal resistance option b thermal coefficient option c temperature gradient option d thermal conductivity and option e heat transfer so the correct answer is a it's a thermal resistance x upon k a is a thermal resistance question number 48 in the heat flow equation capital q is equal to k a in the small bracket t1 minus t2 divided by x the term t1 minus t2 divided by x is known as option a thermal resistance option b is thermal coefficient option c is a temperature gradient option d is a thermal conductivity and option e is a heat transfer so correct answer is a c it's called temperature gradient question number 49 the rate of energy emission from unit surface area through unit solid angle along a normal to the surface is known as option a emissivity option b is a transmissivity and option c is a reflectivity option d is a inten intensity of radiation and option e is absorptivity so the correct answer is d it means the rate of energy emission from unit surface area through unit solid angle along a normal to the surface is known as intensity of radiation <coughs> question number 50 emissivity of a white polished body in comparison to a black body is option a higher option b is a lower option c is a same option d is depends upon the shape of the body and option e is none of the above so correct answer is a b it will be lower it means emissivity of the white polished body is a comparison to the black body is a lower question number 51 a gray body is a one whose absorptivity is option a varies with temperature option b varies with the wavelength of the incident ray option c is a uh, equal to its emissivity option d does not vary with temperature and wavelength of the incident ray and option e is none of the above correct answer is a uh, c is equal to its uh, emissivity question number 52 the eckert number is expressed by the eckert number is expressed by option a velocity of fluid 
square divided by specific heat at the constant pressure into temperature into specific heat at constant pressure option b okay sorry it will be from for the option b option b is a specific heat at constant pressure into coefficient of viscosity divided by thermal conductivity and option c is a coefficient of heat transfer divided uh, into linear dimension divided by thermal conductivity and option D is a density into velocity into linear dimension and divided by coefficient of absolute viscosity correct answer is a a cut number is expressed by velocity of fluid square divided by specific heat at constant pressure into temperature Question number 53 Two balls of same material and finish have their diameter finish have their diameter in the ratio of 2 raised to 1 and both are heated to the same temperature and allowed to cool by radiation rate of cooling by big ball as compared to the small ball a smaller one will be in the ratio of option a 1 raised to 1 option b 2 raised to 1 option c is a 1 raised to 2 option d is 4 raised to 1 and option e is a 1 raised to 4 so the correct answer is c it will be 1 raised to 2 it means <coughs> the ratio of cooling will be 1 raised to 2 Question number 54 Grishoff number is expressed by option A inside diameter of tube divided by equivalent thickness of film option B thermal conductivity divided by equivalent thickness of film option C specific heat into viscosity divided by thermal conductivity or molecular diffusivity of momentum divided by thermal diffusivity and option d film coefficient into inside into di inside diameter divided by thermal conductivity option e is a uh, is inertia force uh, into buoyant force divided by viscous force so the correct answer is a e it will be inertia force into buoyant force divided by viscous force question number 55 a non dimensional number generally associated with natural convection heat transfer is option option a is a grishoff number option b is a nasselt number option c is a weber number Option D is a parental number and option E is a Reynold number. Correct answer is A. It will be Grishoff number. Question number 56. LMTD. In a case of counter flow heat exchanger as compared to parallel flow heat exchanger is option a is a higher option b is a lower option c is a same option d is a depends on the area of heat exchanger and option e is depend on temperature conditions so correct answer is a, a it will be higher question number 57 in heat exchangers degree of approach is uh, defined as the difference between temperatures of option a cold water inlet and outlet option b hot medium inlet and outlet option c hot medium outlet and cold water inlet option d hot medium outlet and cold water outlet option e none of the above correct answer is a d it's a hot medium outlet and cold water outlet question number 58 
In counter flow heat exchangers option A both the fluids at inlet of heat exchanger where hot fluid is enters are in their coldest state option B both the fluids at inlet are in their hottest state option C both the fluids at exit are in their hottest state option D is a one fluid is in hottest state and the other in the coldest state at inlet and option E is a, any combination is possible depending on design of heat exchanger so correct answer is a B both the fluids at inlet are in their hottest state question number 59 a steam pipe is to be insulated by two insulating materials put over each other for best results option a better insulation should be put over pipe and it's again better over it i think it will be inferior okay and in the second option inferior insulation should be put over pipe and better on over it and option c is a both may be put in any order and option d is a whether to put inferior on our pipe or the better one would depend on the steam temperature and option E is an unpredictable so correct answer is A it means better insulation should be put over the pipe and the inferior one over it okay question number 60 the salt number is uh, expressed by option A inside diameter of tube divided by equivalent thickness of film Option B is a thermal conductivity divided by equivalent thickness of film. Option C is a specific heat into viscosity divided by thermal conductivity or molecular diffusivity of uh, momentum divided by thermal diffusivity. And option D is a coefficient of heat transfer into inside diameter divided by thermal conductivity and option E is none of the above. Correct answer is D. Nestle number is expressed by coefficient of heat transfer into inside diameter divided by thermal conductivity. Question number 61. Fourier's law of heat conduction is valid for option A. One dimensional case only option B. Two dimensional case only option C. 3 dimensional case only option D regular surfaces having non uniform temperature gradients option E irregular surfaces correct answer is A for one dimensional case only question number 62 according to Kirchhoff's law option A radiant heat is proportional to fourth power of absolute temperature option b emissive power depends on temperature option c emissive power and uh, absorptivity are constant for all bodies option d ratio of emissive power to absorptivity power is maximum for respectively black body option e ratio of emissive power to absorptivity power for all bodies is the same and is equal to the emissive power of a perfectly black body so the correct answer is e question number 63 all radiations in a black body are option a reflected option b refracted option c transmitted option d absorbed option e partially reflected and partially absorbed correct answer is a d it will be absorbed question number 64 according to kirchhoff's law the ratio of emissive power 
to absorptivity for all bodies is equal to the emissive power of a option a gray body option b brilliant white polished body option c red hot body option d black body option e none of the above correct answer is d it's a black body question number 65 the concept of overall coefficient of heat transfer is used in a case of heat transfer by option a conduction option b is a convection option c is a radiation option d is a conduction and convection and option e is a convection and radiation correct answer is d it will be conduction and convection question number 66 the unit of overall coefficient of uh, heat transfer is option a kilo calorie per meter square option b kilo calorie per hour degree centigrade option c kilo calorie per meter square into hour degree centigrade and option d kilo calorie per meter into hour degree centigrade and option e kilo calorie per meter cube into hour degree centigrade correct answer is a c it will be kilo calorie per meter square into hour degree centigrade Question number 67 The heat transfer equation Q is equal to sigma a t power 4 sigma a t power 4 is known as option A Fourier's equation option B Laplace equation option C Poisson's equation option D General heat transfer equation option E Stephen Boltzmann equation correct answer is e it's a Stephen Boltzmann equation question number 68 joule second is the unit of joule into second is the unit of option a universal gas constant option b kinematic uh, viscosity option c is a uh, thermal conductivity Option D is a Planck's constant. Option E is none of the above. Correct answer is D. It's a Planck's constant. Question number sixty-nine. The value of Prandtl number for air is about option A point one, option B point three, option C is a point seven, option D one point seven, option C is a ten point five. Correct answer is C. It will be point seven. Question number seventy. The value of the wavelength for maximum emissive power is given by option A. Wien's law option B is a Planck's law option C is a Stefan's law and option D is a Fourier's law and option E is Kirchhoff's law. Correct answer is A it's a Wien's law. Question number 71. Prandtl number is expressed by option A inside diameter of tube d divided by equivalent thickness of film option B thermal conductivity divided by equivalent thickness of film option C is specific heat into viscosity divided by thermal conductivity or molecular diffusivity of momentum divided by thermal diffusivity option d film coefficient into inside diameter divided by thermal conductivity and option e is none of the above correct answer is c it's a specific heat into viscosity divided by thermal conductivity or the molecular diffusivity of the momentum divided by thermal diffusivity question number 72 log mean temperature difference in a case of the counter flow compared to the parallel flow will be option a same option b is more option c is less option d is depend upon depends on the other factors and option e is none of the above correct answer is b it will be more question number 73 the energy distribution of an ideal reflector at a higher temperature is a uh, largely in the range of option a 
shorter wavelength option b is longer wavelength option c is remain same at all wavelengths option d wavelength has nothing to do with it and option e is none of the above correct answer is a it will be shorter wavelength question number 74 Total emissivity of polished silver compared to black body is option A same. Option B is a higher option C is a more or less same. Option D is a very much lower. Option E is a very much higher. Correct answer is D. It's a very much lower. Question number 75. According to Stephen Blot, uh, Boltzmann law, ideal radiations radiators emit a radiant energy at a rate proportional to option a absolute temperature option b is a square of temperature option c is a fourth power of absolute temperature option d fourth power of temperature and option e is a cube of the absolute temperature correct answer is a c according to stephen boltzmann low ideal radiators emits radiant energy at the rate of proportional to the fourth power of absolute temperature Question number 76. Which of the following property of air does not increases with rise in a temperature? Option A. Thermal conductivity. Option B. Thermal diffusivity. Option C. Density. Option D. Is a dynamic viscosity. And option E. Is a kinematic viscosity. Correct answer is C. It's a density. So the property of air does not increase with rise in temperature is a density. Question number 77. The unit of Stephen Boltzmann constant is option A. Watt per centimeter square degree Kelvin. Option B. Watt per centimeter power 4 degree kelvin option c watt per centimeter square degree kelvin power 4 option d watt per centimeter square degree kelvin power 4 and option is a watt per centimeter square and degree kelvin square so the correct answer is a d unit of stephen boltzmann constant is a watt per centimeter square degree kelvin power 4 question number 78 a free in a free convection heat transfer, Nusselt number is a function of option A, Grishoff number and Reynolds number, option B, Grishoff number and parental number, option C, parental number and Reynolds number, option D is a Grishoff number, parental number and the Reynolds number, option E is none of the above. Correct answer is B, it's a Grishoff number and parental number. Question number 79. Stephen Boltzmann law is uh, applicable for heat transfer by option A. Conduction option B. Convection option C. Radiation option D is a uh, conduction and radiation combined and option E is a uh, convection and radiation combined. So the correct answer is a C. It's a uh, radiation. Question number 80. The thermal diffusivities for gases are generally option A. More than those for liquids. Option B. Less than those for liquids. Option C. More than those for solids. And option D is depend on the viscosity. And option E is the same for the liquids. Correct answer is A. Thermal diffusivity for the gases are generally more than those, those for liquids. Question number 81. The thermal diffusivities for solids are generally option A less than those for gases, option B less than those for liquids and option C is more than those for liquids and gases and option D is a more or less same as for liquids and gases and option e is a zero correct answer is a c the thermal diffusivity for these solids are generally more than these for liquids and gases question number 82 thermal diffusivity is expressed by 
द रिलेशन ऑप्शन ए के अपॉन रो सी पी ऑप्शन बी सी पी रो डिवाइडेड बाई के ऑप्शन सी रो के डिवाइडेड बाई सी पी एंड ऑप्शन डी म्यू सी पी डिवाइडेड बाई के एंड ऑप्शन ई के अपॉन म्यू सी पी फिर इज के इज अ थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी एंड रो इज अ डेंसिटी म्यू इज अ डायनेमिक विस्कोसिटी एंड सी पी इज अ स्पेसिफिक हीट एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ए इट विल बी के डिवाइडेड बाई रो सी पी क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी थ्री थर्मल डिफ्यूजिविटी ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस इज ऑप्शन ए डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑप्शन बी इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू डेंसिटी ऑफ सब्सटेंस ऑप्शन सी इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अब ऑप्शन ई नन ऑफ द अब सो करेक्ट आंसर इज डी इज ऑल ऑफ द अब क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी फोर इफ टू सर्फेसिस क्वेश्चन एटी फोर इफ टू सर्फेसिस ऑफ एरिया ए डिस्टेंस एल अ पार्ट ऑफ अ मटीरियल हैविंग थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी के आर एट टेम्परेचर टी वन एंड टी टू देन हीट फ्लो रेट थ्रू थ्रू रेट द हीट फ्लो रेट थ्रू इट विल बी ऑप्शन ए के ए अपॉन एल इन दॉल ब्रेकेट टी वन माइनस टी टू ऑप्शन बी के ए सॉरी के एल डिवाइडेड बाई ए इन द स्मॉल ब्रेकेट टी वन माइनस टी टू एंड ऑप्शन सी K upon A L in the small bracket T1 minus T2 and option D L upon K A in the small bracket T1 minus T2 and option E A upon L K in the small bracket T1 minus T2. Correct answer is A. It means K A divided by L in the small bracket T1 minus T2. क्वेश्चन नंबर 86 अकॉर्डिंग टू स्टीफन स्लो द टोटल रेडिएशन फ्रॉम अ ब्लैक बॉडी पर सेकंड पर यूनिट एरिया इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू ऑप्शन ए एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर टी ऑप्शन बी टी स्क्वायर ऑप्शन सी इज टी क्यूब ऑप्शन डी टी पावर फोर ऑप्शन ई इज वन अपॉन टी करेक्ट आंसर इज डी इट विल बी टी पावर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी According to Planck's law the wavelength corresponding to the maximum energy is proportional to option absolute temperature t option b is t square option c is t cube option d is t4 option e is 1 upon t correct answer is e it will be 1 upon t <coughs> question number 88 according to wien's law the wavelength wavelength corresponding to the maximum energy is proportional to ऑप्शन ए इज एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर टी ऑप्शन बी इज अ टी स्क्वायर ऑप्शन सी इज अ टी जीरो ऑप्शन डी इज अ टी पावर फोर एंड ऑप्शन ई इज वन अपॉन टी करेक्ट आंसर इज ए इट विल बी एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर टी क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी नाइन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द रेडिएटिंग प्रॉपर्टीज अ बॉडी विल बी वाइट वैन ऑप्शन ए वेर इज द ऑप्शन ए इज Rho is equal to zero, tau is equal to zero, and alpha is equal to one. Where the alpha is a absorptivity, rho is a reflectivity, and tau is a transmissivity. So the option B is rho is equal to one, tau is equal to zero, alpha is equal to zero. Option C is rho is equal to zero, tau is, is tau will be one, and alpha is zero. Option D, tau is equal to zero, alpha plus rho is equal to one, and option E, rho is equal to zero, tau plus rho will be one. So the correct answer is a B. <coughs> It means rho will be one, tau equal to zero, and alpha equal to zero. <coughs> Question number ninety. Depending on the radiating properties, a body will be black when option A rho is equal to zero, tau is equal to zero, alpha is equal to one. Option B rho is equal to one, tau is equal to zero, alpha is equal to zero. Option C rho is equal to zero, tau is equal to one, alpha is equal to zero. Option D tau is equal to zero, rho, alpha plus rho will be one, and option E is alpha is equal to zero and tau plus rho will be one. So the correct answer is A. It will be rho is equal to <coughs> zero, tau is equal to zero, and alpha will be one. Question number ninety-one. Depending on the radiating 
properties a body will be opaque when option a rho is equal to 0 tau will be 0 alpha will be 1 option b rho will be 1 tau is equal to 0 alpha will be 0 option c is rho is equal to 0 tau is equal to 1 alpha is equal to 0 option d tau is equal to 0 alpha plus rho will be 1 and option is alpha is equal to 0 and rho sorry tau plus alpha will be 1 so the correct answer is a d <coughs> it will be tau will be 0 alpha plus rho will be 1 question number 92 the heat transfer equation del square t divided by dx square plus del square t divided by dy square plus del square t divided by dz square is equal to 0 is known as option a laplace equation option b is a stephen boltzmann equation option c is a four years equation option d is a poison's equation and option is a general equation of heat transfer correct answer is a it's called laplace equation question number 93 if the inner and the outer surface of a hollow cylinder having radii r1 and r2 and length is l r at temperature uh, at the temperature t1 and t2 then the rate of the radial heat flow will be option a k upon 2 pi l into t1 minus t2 divided by log r2 divided by r1 it's maybe one okay and option b is a one upon two pi l k in this uh, sorry into t1 minus t2 divided by log r2 divided by r1 option c is a two pi l divided by k multiply t1 minus t2 divided by log r2 r1 option d 2 pi k divided by l t1 minus t2 divided by log r2 divided by r1 option e 2 pi l k t1 minus t2 divided by log r2 divided by r1 so the correct answer is a e it will be 2 pi l k into t1 minus t2 divided by log r2 divided by r1 question number 94 two plane slabs of equal areas and conductivities in the ratio 1 raised to 2 are held together and temperature in between surfaces ends at r uh, sorry temperature <coughs> in between surfaces ends uh, at uh, r at t1 and t2 if junction temperature is between in between two surfaces is a uh, is it desired to be t1 plus t2 divided by 2 then their thickness should be in the ratio of option a 1 raised to 2 option b 2 raised to 1 option c 1 raised to 1 option d 3 raised to 1 option e is 1 raised to 3 so the correct answer is a it will be 1 raised to 2 <coughs> question number 95 the heat flow rate uh, through parallel walls of thicknesses l1 l2 and l3 and having surface areas a1 a2 and a3 thermal conductivities k1 k2 and k3 respectively and uh, first and last walls maintained at temperature t1 and t2 will be option a t1 minus t2 divided by l1 divided by a1 k1 plus l2 divided by a2 k2 plus l3 divided by a3 k3 and <coughs> option b is a t1 minus t2 okay and all divided by k1 and divided by a1 l1 plus k2 a2 l2 plus k3 a3 l3 and option c t1 minus t2 divided by k1 a1 divided by l1 plus k2 a2 divided by l2 plus k3 a3 divided by l3 and option d t1 minus t2 divided by l1 a1 divided by k1 plus l2 a2 divided by k3 plus a3 l3 a3 divided by k3 and option e is t1 minus t2 divided by a1 divided by l1 k1 plus a2 
divided by L2 K2 plus A3 divided by L3 K3. So the correct answer is A. <coughs> it will be T1 minus T2 divided by L1 and divided by A1 K1 plus L2 A2 K2 plus L3 divided by A3 K3. Question number 96. If the inner and the outer walls of the hollow sphere having surfaces area A1 and A2 and inner and the outer radii will be R1, R2 are maintained at the temperature T1 and T2 then rate of heat flow will be option A. K under root A2, A1, A2 and multiply T1 minus T2 divided by R2 minus R1 option B. K divided by under root A1, A2 in the small uh, and multiply T1 uh, minus T2 and divided by R1 minus R2. Option C is a 4 pi K T1 minus T2 uh, divided by under root A1, A2 and option D 4 pi K R1, R2 multiply T1 minus T2 and under root divided by under root A1, A2 and option E is none of the above. So correct answer is A, it will be K under root A1, A2 multiply T1 minus T2 divided by R2 minus R1. Question number 97. At thermal equilibrium option A, absorptivity is greater than emissivity. Option B, absorptivity is lesser than emissivity. Option C, absorptivity is equal to emissivity. And option D is the sum of the absorptivity and emissivity is a unity and option E is none of the above. Correct answer is a C. It will be absorptivity is equal to emissivity. Question number 98. The ratio of emissive power of a body to the emissive power of a perfectly black body is called option A. Absorptivity option B is emissivity option C is diffusivity option D is a conductivity and option E is a uh, absorptivity power. So the correct answer is B. It will be emissivity. Question number 99. The wavelength of the radiation emitted option A depends on temperature only. Option B depend on temperature square. Option C is it does not depend on the material of the body. Option D depends on the material of the body and option E is A and C is correct. So the correct answer is E. It means A and C correct. A is depend on the temperature only and C is does not depend on the material of the body. Question number 100. Figure shows the variation of temperatures across the thickness of the materials with different thermal conductivities under steady states curve C will be applicable when thermal conductivity of the material is so first of all I'm showing you this graph between temperature and the thickness and there is a temperature T1, T2, T3 and curve A, B, C okay and uh, sorry A, B, D and C this one so he it's asking about curve C will be applicable when thermal conductivity of the material option A Increases with the increase in the temperature option B decrease with de increase in the temperature and option C is a very large option D is a, a Constant at all temperatures and option E is none of the above correct answer is a C Is a very large you can see the graph again. It's talking about this graph C 